So this is how you go ahead and use the mirror flag in Robocopy. And uh, for this instance, we're going to be taking what is in test folder one here, which contains three text files, and we're going to put them into test folder two. Currently, it has nothing, but uh, at the end of this um, command, it should copy everything exactly. So first thing you want to do, obviously, is type out Robocopy. And you're going to put your source folder, in this case, test folder one and you're going to put your destination folder which is um, test folder 2 and then you're going to add the forward slash and then put the MIR flag for mirror. We're going to run that and then if we check test folder 2 you'll see it has an exact copy of what's in test folder 1. Now in my previous Robocopy video there were a lot of people asking um, about the command to do that which is what I just showed you the one thing that you have to be careful of with the mirror flag is this. If you're in your source folder and you accidentally, in this case, delete one of your files, test file two, you would think everything is fine until you run this command. So as you see here, I deleted the test, uh, the second test file in my source. I haven't run the robocopy uh, command yet with the mirror function you see it still the second test file is still in here but if I go ahead and run this command if I check back my destination you can find that that second test file is gone so that is the one thing that you have to be very careful with the mirror flag um, this has happened to me in the past so this is one thing that you have to be careful of but other than that that's how you do it.